This episode sucks. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers then and discuss them. Today we're exploring the 39th episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 244th episode overall titled The Curveball. We begin this episode at the baseball field where a game is happening. TJ is in the outfield getting an out. The teams change and it's a tied score and TJ calls a guy on the opposing team a sucker. Dude, chill. He then tells his teammate what bat to use and then he tells Ricky to hold the bat tighter. Then his communicator goes off and apparently Carlos is there playing too. Who let him off the soccer field? A teammate yells how TJ can't leave because he's half the team, but they leave anyways. They talk to Alpha who says that the others are being attacked by Rygog and Piranatrons. Shift into Turbo! They flip in, helping out the others in the battle next to Storm Blaster. This is a pretty nothing fight except for the fact that Storm Blaster is also fighting by opening and closing its own doors. Rygog and gang then just retreat. What a waste of my time. They were apparently after Storm Blaster, but TJ and Carlos really don't care. They have to get back to their game. They show up and someone says, great, we won't lose now. Apparently TJ is up to bat and he's definitely being cocky to the pitcher. TJ hits the ball hard and it pops up, going out of the park so it's a home run. Some nerd is out there by himself getting the ball. He then walks over and apparently he's Heath, the new guy. They introduce Heath to TJ and apparently he's on the other team and when TJ tries to shake his hand, gives him the ball instead. He then says that TJ is good, which is better than the rest of his sorry team. And then he wants to go head to head against TJ. <sighs> Here we go. TJ is up to bat again with Heath pitching, and after waiting for like 30 seconds, Heath pitches. Strike one, which blows everyone's minds because I guess TJ never misses. This would help if we hadn't just mentioned that TJ liked baseball like once. Oh, strike two and strike three, TJ's out. They didn't talk about how shocking it is that TJ got struck out by this new guy, and TJ's a bit bothered. At the youth center, TJ straight up walks into people because he's reading a book, walking over to Ashley, Justin, and Carlos, and he tells them that he can't make it to the movies tonight because he wants to spend some time in the batting cages, and he's reading about batting techniques. Some guys from the rival team come over and make fun of his book, walking away. TJ wants to figure out that pitch. At the field, Bulk and Skull are trying to line the field, but they don't have any chalk, running into their new boss, who wants the lines in the field to be perfect. Of course, the two get covered in chalk. Okay, whatever. At the field again later, everyone is wearing the exact same clothes, which means they didn't do laundry yet. You nasties. TJ is batting with Heath on the mound, and oh my god, this is taking so long. TJ is struck out again, and TJ is just defeated over this. Was this script like nine pages long? Divatox then sees that TJ sucks via the periscope, and Porto introduces Strikeout, a new baseball-themed monster. This is feeling very season one. She wants him to pitch against the Power Rangers. At the field, TJ compliments Heath on such a great pitch and he says that he won't tell them how to hit it when it took him years on developing that pitch. Then communicators go off again and Carlos and TJ have to shift in the turbo. They must have filmed this entire episode in like a single afternoon. All five Rangers are outside now with strikeout and he's going to pitch and Justin is going to bat with his blade. Justin tries to hit it but it totally like skips around hitting Justin. No one reacts to how this child just got hurt. Then all four others try to hit his pitch, but it's not working getting hit down. Then TJ hits one back and he asks for another curveball. TJ, stop. This isn't your stupid game. This is a monster. Then Strikeout just hits them over and over again, but then he realizes that he's out of baseball, so he leaves, even though TJ asked him not to. What the hell is up with TJ? TJ and Carlos show up at the field again, watching Heath practicing pitching, and TJ is pissed off because he can't figure out how to hit that damn curveball. Carlos leaves, saying that he'll see him later at the youth center. TJ then just locks eyes longingly with Heath before he bikes away. On a dirt path, TJ is biking when Heath comes up asking if he wants to race, and TJ says, no thanks. I don't know why, but this made me laugh. Heath says he's scared and that he's going to win again, and Heath literally drives off of a fucking cliff. <laughs> Only good part of this entire episode so far. TJ hurries over, seeing Heath dangling from the rocks, and TJ grabs his hand. Feel like there should have been a barrier there? TJ finally pulls his loser up after like three minutes of struggling. Heath says he owes TJ, and TJ says no, he doesn't, leaving him there alone without his bike. The next day at the goddamn baseball field, Heath is practicing and TJ and Carlos show up. Heath calls TJ over and he starts explaining how to hit the curveball and he starts explaining everything to TJ. Carlos's communicator goes off and he runs away and he finds out from Alpha that Strikeout is back. So Carlos is heading out. The other four Rangers show up taking on Strikeout who is looking for Red. He ends up pitching a damn bomb at them. Also TJ hits the curveball from Heath who is pitching from an entirely different location at this point. TJ's communicator goes off and he says that he won't tell anyone how to hit the curveball, but he's got to go. Then TJ shows up with a red baseball bat at the battlefield, and the Rangers run over to him. TJ then tells Strikeout to give it his best shot, and after another four minutes of smack talking, TJ hits the curveball into space. Why would you not just hit it back at him? Then Strikeout freaking cries. Oh my god. Divatox yells for the torpedoes to be fired, making Strikeout giant, so the Rangers call out their Turbo Zords, forming the Turbo Megazord. They immediately go into their spin out attack, and Strikeout pitches a ton of balls toward them. They do their spin out, hitting them all back, and then slashing him, making him explode. What a terrible monster. 
on the space base, Rygog and Elgar are wearing baseball attire, and Diotox talks about how much she hates baseball, which causes them to throw everything away. That was mildly funny. I'll take it. At the game, someone is up to bat, and he's terrified to bat against Heath, and TJ tells him to just give it his best shot. Apparently, one more out, and Heath's team wins. The guy gets a strike, and Heath goes over, explaining to literally everyone how to hit the curveball. Is this... what? Is that a moral? How is that a moral? Over the credits, we see that Bulk and Skull did a terrible job lining the field. I feel like this didn't need to be cut in favor of five minutes of thinking about pitching, but okay. Wow, this episode blew. I mean, it had almost nothing going on in it for a vast majority of it. I feel like it was just treading water between the little bits of action it had going on, and it's a real shame because the second half of Turbo has actually been doing a pretty great job at at least remaining interesting. Now I feel like it's given up on even doing that until the finale. So we've had a bad string of episodes. Maybe the next episode will turn it around a little bit. Until then, may the power protect you.